Hi everyone, I am Shubham Kaur and welcome back to the lecture series of DHCH software. So in today's lecture, we are going to see how to make a half adder and a full adder using DHCH software. Alright, so if you haven't watched the previous videos of this series, I would highly recommend you to watch this because we are going to use the circuits which we have designed previously and we will also use uh, those circuits as the symbols to design this full adder. Okay, so you must know how to design uh, the different gates, how to make the symbol out of the circuits which we have made till now. Alright, so with that let's get started. First of all, uh, let me show you the truth table and the circuit diagram of half adder. Alright, so for half adder it consists of two inputs that is A and B. Okay, and there is one XOR gate which is there, which gives us the sum and uh, other thing is the AND gate. Okay, that gives us the carry. So we have the truth table like A, B, sum and carry. Alright. So basically uh, when both the inputs are 0, sum 0, carry is 0. For 1, 0 and 0, 1, sum is 1, carry is 0. For 1 and 1, uh, sum becomes 0 because uh, from after 1 and 1, 1 goes to carry. So basically that's uh, just basics about half adder. Okay, and uh, this is the circuit diagram which we are going to design using DHCH software. Alright, so uh, as I said we are going to use the symbols of the gates which we have uh, developed previously. So you see here uh, the XOR gate we have made in the previous videos. Okay, and we have also made the AND gate. So I am going to uh, make the symbols for both of these gates using our circuit. And then using those symbol, uh, we will make uh, this half adder circuit. Alright, so here is our uh, DHCH software. So this is the XOR gate and uh, uh, to make a symbol, go to file, schema to new symbol. Okay, so now here I will change the order that is A and B. So this is our XOR gate for CMOS. Okay, I will name it as XOR CMOS and I will click OK. So this is our XOR CMOS and this has been saved. Similarly, we will open our uh, another file. Okay, uh, that is we are going to open the AND gate. Okay, and gate is not here. Okay, yeah, there is the NAND gate. We will add an inverter afterward to make it AND. Okay, there is NAND gate. Yeah, so this is our NAND gate. And now from here, we are going to add the inverter symbol. If you remember in the previous videos, we have made a symbol that is inverter, symbol for the inverter. So this is our uh, CMOS inverter. And I am going to attach this inverter here. Let's see for once if it is working fine or not. Okay, yeah, now it is working as AND gate. Okay, so uh, let's save it first. Okay, we will save it as AND to CMOS. And now we will generate symbol of this AND gate. So again, go to file schema to the new symbol. All right, and here uh, just write the name as uh, AND. Okay, uh, yeah, the pin name, uh, okay, let's see uh, this, okay, here, the pin name, this light name is Nantu, that's why it was showing the pin name as Nantu, so let's name it as output only, okay, so just go file schema to new symbol, A, B and output. Here it is the name for uh, the name is AND to CMOS. So now we have made AND gate and we have made a XOR gate as well. We have created a symbol for both of them. So now uh, I will go to create a new file and I'm going to insert the symbols. Okay, so go to insert user symbol and click on XOR. So this is our symbol for XOR and again insert user symbol that is AND. Okay, so this one is for AND. You can see now instead of uh, making the whole circuit, 
how things have become uh, easier for us to use our symbols created from previous circuits uh, in making this half adder. All right. So now here are the inputs. So let us. Okay. First of all, we need to set the library. Go to file properties and just remove this system. All right. So yeah. Now uh, from just drag and drop this button for input A. And this is another button for input B. All right. So let's change their name to A. And this one to B. So now. Uh, let's see the circuit diagram so that we can see what we are going to do. Uh, basically, we need to connect this XOR gate to inputs and this AND gate to inputs as well. Okay, so this is our circuit. We can see A and B both the inputs one by one are connected to XOR gates and then they are connected to the AND gates. All right. So uh, let us connect them using wire. So here is our A. Let's just move it a bit upwards. Yeah. So this is our B. And here, this is our A. And this is B. Okay. So these are the circuits which we have made for half adder. Okay. And now there is some and carry for the output. Uh, just use this LED. Okay, and let's change the name as carry. And for this as sum. Okay, uh, yeah, I will just hide the pin names, right. So now there is our carry. And this is our sum. So this is according to the circuit diagram that is sum and carry. So uh, this is we have made half adder. Okay, let's just save it. Go to file, save as half adder CMOS. Okay, and let's save it. Now let's run this to see if it is working according to the truth table. So according to the truth table, when both inputs are zero, the output sum and carry will be zero. Uh, when any of the input is one, sum will be one. When both inputs are one, sum will be zero and carry will be one. So let's see both the inputs are zero, sum and carry are zero. When any of the input is one, sum is one. Okay, when both the inputs are one, carry is one. All right. So this is uh, our half adder and uh, you can see it is working perfectly fine. So this is how we create a half adder. Next thing what we need to build is the full adder. All right. So for full adder, what we can do uh, is either we can create the separate circuits uh, and extend this or uh, if you understand the theory, what is a full adder when we combine two half adders? then it basically becomes a full adder. So you can see here, there is one half adder. This is the circuit diagram. You can see XOR gate and an AND gate. This is one half adder. And this is another half adder, XOR gate and AND gate. When we combine both these, uh, and this is being OR. Okay, so then it becomes a full adder. So what we can do, uh, is instead of making uh, uh, using the XOR gate and AND gate again okay, and complete the circuit. We can do that, there is no issue. But instead of that, what we will be doing is we will create a symbol for half adder, which we just developed. That is for this half adder. And we will just uh, connect those two half adders to create a full adder. Okay. Basically, we can uh, use another XOR gate and AND gate symbol which we have created and extend this. But uh, to make it compact, 
what we will do is we will create a symbol for this and we'll use two half adders. So just go to file, schema to new symbol. Okay. And here uh, for sum and carry. Okay, yeah. So I want sum of words and carry below. All right. So you can see according to this diagram, there is our sum output and carry output. And that's how we want it to be. Okay, so we will just click OK. This is half adder CMOS. Okay. All right. So now we have created a symbol for half adder and we will go to file new. One more thing to connect to half adders, we need an OR gate as well. Okay, so we are going to uh, use our OR gate. Or let's see, we have an OR gate. So we will create a symbol for OR gate first. Okay, so here is our OR gate. And we are going to use the inverter symbol to make it OR gate. Okay, and uh, there is our user symbol that is inverter. So this thing here is our OR gate and I will just create symbol for this as well. First of all, let me save it as schematic. That is to input OR gate for OR underscore to CMOS. Okay, so now let's just create the symbol that is schema to new symbol. And this is our OR gate. Okay, so now our symbol is developed. Let's go to uh, file and create a new file. So here we are going to make full adder using two half adders. So we are going to add the symbols. First of all, half adder. So this is the symbol of half adder. Okay, and if you remember, we need two half adders. So we will going to add another symbol for half adder. Okay. And now we need our symbol for OR gate. Okay. That is OR gate. And there is our OR gate. So now we have uh, both the half adders and OR gate. So you see instead of making circuit like this big uh, or basically creating from the gate level, we have used the previous circuits which we have created from MOSFET level to make our circuit compact. And now we are going to uh, attach two half adders to create a full adder. All right. So you can see here the sum for the half adder that is this sum output is going as an input in the second half adder and the carry for half adder is going towards the OR gate. All right. And carry from this half adder uh, the second input is from this half adder is also going to OR gate. Uh, sorry, it is going to AND gate and then the output is going to OR gate. All right. So basically this circuit is already being developed because we have we are using the symbols. So first of all, let us connect the sum towards the input. Okay, now sum is connected towards the input and now you can see here this is our input A, this is our input B, okay, and now we need the third input that is carry in, all right, because it is a full adder. So now uh, there is our third input that is this, and this is our carry in. So let's just connect it as well, yeah. So we will change the name to C in, this will be our A. And this is B. Okay, this is A, B, uh, and C in. All right. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, use the OR gate for both the carries. Okay, you can see here the output for this carry is uh, here in the OR gate, and output for this carry, that is for the first half adder, it is also in the OR gate. So that we can get the final carry out. All right, so let's just use this wire and we'll connect it like this. OK, 
okay let me just delete this yeah and we have connected both the carries so now here for the output uh, there is our led okay so now let us see if it is working properly or not all right so to make it more convenient i will just use split screen okay yeah so you can see here in the truth table where uh, this is how we are going to verify uh, if our circuit is working correctly or not so when both the all the inputs are zero that is a b and c in the output for sum and carry will be zero okay uh, i forgot the led for sum so here is the led for sum okay so let just rename it as sum okay and we will rename it as carry yeah so now uh, when all the inputs are zero the output will be zero uh, let's start uh, the simulation and we will check every case one by one okay so we can see all the inputs are zero both the outputs are zero when a and b are zero and c in is one sum is one and carry out is zero so a and b are zero c in is one you can see sum becomes one carry out is zero all right when b is one other two are zero let's see when b is one other two are zero sum becomes one and carry is zero when uh, both b and carry in are one and a is zero both b and carry in are one a is zero then sum is zero carry out as one similarly when a is one and other two inputs are zero sum is one carry is zero you can see sum is one here carry is zero when a and c in are one sum is zero carry is one all right when uh, a and b are one and carry in is zero so when a and b are one carry is one sum is zero you can see and finally when a b and carry in both are one then sum and carry out both are one so here a and a b and c in all are one then sum and carry out both are one okay so uh, this completes our full adder circuit okay and uh, this we have developed using two half adders first of all we created a half adder using the xor xnor and and gate sorry xor and and gate uh, okay and uh, using those gates uh, those we have already developed in our previous video so we developed the symbol for that first and we use those symbols to uh, create half adder then we created a symbol for half adder and then we use the symbols for half adder to create the full adder okay so now you can see your circuit becomes very compact otherwise it will be a mess okay so uh, and uh, the most uh, beneficial thing is you can use all these symbols in any circuits uh, let's say for example in future you are making an arithmetic logical unit you can use the full adder or you uh, you need a half adder you can use directly use the symbol okay so we are going to save this as uh, full adder okay and i am going to save as here so this is our uh, half adder and full adder circuit so this is all for this video guys see you in the next video